This is Bug Fang. Uh, Hi. Welcome to the podcast. This is Bug Fang. And uh, I should probably explain why. Uh, or why I should I should probably explain why um, there wasn't no podcast night last week. Uh, wasn't I've, no. Huh? Wasn't no. Wasn't no. What do you mean? Why there wasn't no podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Double negative. This shit really. What? No, nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm about to say, I was like, did I actually say something wrong? I mean, technically, yeah, it was a double negative. Wasn't no means there was. I swear I've heard people say it like that. Yeah, you have. Uh, okay. Your whole life. Yeah. yeah. It's just still one of those double negative things. Like, like, ATM machine. No, ATM No, that's what done, that's like redundant. redundant. Nah, yeah, there we go. Wasn't no is said as if it were redundancy except for the fact that it's two negatives mean that it cancels out. A redundant negative means it's no longer redundant, it's changing the meaning. Anyways, other than my bad grammar... English reasons, sucks! Yeah. Other, uh, uh, anyways, other than all my bad grammar, why there was no um, podcast. I fucked up. <laughs> the short story is I, I fucked up Long story, don't really want to get into it. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Mainly because I lost... I don't I don't know if I told you. I'm pretty sure I did. I lost my civilization save. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I'm, I was so disappointed yeah. Yeah. in myself. I, I'm not going to lie. I was probably more upset that I lost the civilization thing than I did with the podcast. <sighs> we'd be dead ass serious. And, it, and honestly, if it was any game I put, like, that much hours to in a week, I'd be, I'd be fucking mad. <coughs> like, oh my god. <coughs> you, you good? <laughs> you good? You yep, d- you, I'm good. You sure? Yep. You live? I'm, I just drowning in, 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 <clears throat> in cup noodle. <laughs> Continue. Sometimes uh, I like to drown myself using a cup noodles, and um, it just happens, okay? This is why I cook my noodles the way I do, but anyways. Yeah, well, I didn't exactly have time for that. Also, I have been experimenting with your method of... Of, um, of cooking noodles? Of cooking yeah. Noodle. You don't like it? It's really... Uh, it's fine when you're making a veggie dish. Anything else, and it's kind of a waste. What do you mean? Everything other than veggie dishes, so for the record, we're talking about pan-frying ramen noodles, right? Yeah. Well, like, it, it, it's still, like, you're still using the water because you, you do have to cook them. Wait, have you not been using water? Um, I actually have found that water isn't the best thing to use. Um, one, it's going to dilute most of what you're cooking. And two, um, fuck that shit. Uh, I, I want to go. I actually think the best way to cook is probably in olive oil, um, with vegetables. Does it still get like the soggy, like? Um, no, it maintains a lot of firmness. It's not crunchy. It's um, kind of a little bit firmer than al dente noodles. This is weird. I this is. Wow. And I, I and I like that pairing with fresh vegetables, not steamed. Fuck steaming vegetables. Wait, why don't you like steamed vegetables? What the fuck? You gotta get steamed vegetables. You steam vegetables and you take all the flavor out of them. You take most of the texture out of them. Steaming vegetables. Well, you can steaming is the worst thing you can do to your vegetables. This is white people shit. You guys don't know how to no. steam shit. No, 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 no. Uh, you, uh, can, uh, you can uh, season uh, them motherfucking no. steamed vegetables. Yeah, you can. And you're not tasting the vegetables anymore. You're tasting the seasoning. Steaming is objectively a poor way to cook food. Um, and like you're short that on time like, and nah. short on resources. Nah, bro. No. Nah. If you got some raw mm. ass shit, steam it, fine. But what you should be doing instead of steaming them is instead making a soup out of them. I don't disagree with you on that front. I don't disagree with you on that. But nah, fuck that. I don't think I don't think steaming is objectively bad. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit you dropping. Any cooks out in the audience. <laughs> Is steaming vegetables objectively better or worse than other ways of cooking? And then, for everyone else other than the cooks, do you subjectively prefer steamed vegetables or non-steamed vegetables? I would like, I would personally like to know that. That'd be a very interesting thing to know. But, 
moving on to the topic. Since this is going to be a big one, I'm assuming it's going to be one. And we're ki- we're sort of kind of... It's supposed to be a big one. We're, uh, well, I mean like big in terms of time. Cause yeah. We could do a big one and... Cause I, I'm predicting that the next one we do for the month, which is Soul Eater, will be... This is a thing that we decided... This is a this we decided that next month was Soul Eater. I have the audio to show you. Hey, we I show. haven't said anything. You said it. Why you said it like two weeks ago? No, no, no. I haven't said anything. Oh, oh. but I don't you know gave, what you're fighting. But you gave me that slow, just wait, what? Like, look, that was like motherfucker. No. <laughs> Those are these two anime I remember us agreeing on. I don't Little know what you could be talking about. I gave you no such look. You're uh, you're seeing things. Oh, don't you start with me. Oh, don't you start with me. But anyways, um, so we talked about you know, SAO for an hour and a half last podcast. Lost the recording. Hour forty five minutes. Lost the recording, and now we are back here again, going to talk about it. And honestly, there's just a lot of things we at least talked through in that session. That we, I guess, not recap, but we can kind of, like, just go through our process. Mm -hmm. Which I don't fully remember because I had a raging headache and was pained. I know that we agreed that, so, okay, so the, 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 in the whole SAO. In in our discussion, we basically decided on how we were going to run through it. And we're going to follow that again this time. Um, for us, it's again, for you, it's the first time. Yeah. But we essentially decided to go, um, Talk discussing the, the meta narrative yeah. before the super narrative and then interspersed between meta and super narratives will be the like day to day story to story narrative. And we'll use that to back up a lot of our comments on the meta and super narratives. Now exactly. for those in the audience that aren't familiar with these terms, a meta narrative, um, is kind of like, uh. The, the externalized message of the story, right? Um, like, that, so like that woke shit, basically. Not it, necessarily. It, it, a lot it, of times the meta narrative is really anti woke. In fact, anime has a, a very, very long history of anti woke uh, meta narratives. Three animes that have anti woke. Neon Genesis Evangelion is the least woke, motherfucking depressing meta narrative of all time. Nah, bro, that shit woke as fuck. How? How is that shit woke? That shit is like, that that shit is so anti woke, it's like, yeah, it's okay to essentially be a rapist. Like, it's. (laughs) Hey. Sad boys are in. And from what hey, I remember, sad boys are are okay to be rapists. It's like, no, that's not can, what I'm saying. You okay, can molest you. girls uh, and creepy okay, that's not what I'm, that is not, that is not what I'm, that is boy. not what I'm saying. You just said it was depressing, and I was like, well, depressing's in <laughs> as a style, and I don't joke. That is an actual thing. The whole sad boy yeah, movement is a I thing. I I don't I don't care for this movement. Have you heard of this movement though? I've observed it. What do you mean you observed it? The sad boy movement? Yeah. I've observed it. Through what through what lens? Like well, like or like through the, an, through the lens of an anime like observer. Well not not like like your lens, but like like in what capacity? Like what's what, what source have you observed this from? Anime. What the f- there's what sad boy sh- actually okay there's a lot of sh- are you really gonna ask what on, sad boy shit is an anime hold what's on. been popular recently or wait, wait what sad boy anime is there's no sad boy anime okay so first of all there's a lot of sad boy anime well no you said recently though what what sad I mean still continuing right now Berserk is a big sad boy anime okay Berserk is not a sad boy Berserk anime. is so a sad oh, boy oh it's anime. not what? this is a, okay. Okay, this is a discussion for a whole nother time. We're putting a pin on this because this is, we're already having this a discussion. because it doesn't fit into your neat little self-made interpretation of sad boy anime. I'm not. I'm. It's. It doesn't fit what sad boy culture is. But again, we're putting a pin on it. This is a discussion we'll either have off mic or maybe on mic, depending on how heated I get with you. I'm but, not sure it doesn't conform to sad boy culture. Okay, other than that, we need to talk about SAO. So the meta narrative. SAO decidedly not sad boy. I know that much. Yeah. I know. I, I we can agree on that. SAO was not sad boy, even though it has sad boy moments. 
Man, everything has sad boy moments. I, I, I know it does. Also, I want to point this out. Simpsons has weirdly been absorbed in the sad boy culture, but that's a topic for another time. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> We're not talking about sad boy culture. Right, fine, 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 fine. We're moving on. Okay, yeah. So the meta narrative. Uh, do you want to start on how we should watch this or the overall like world building of this? Um, because there's two parts that we can start off. With. Let's start with how we did watch this. Cause you, so for me. Um, before, um, I was ever in Deseo, before SO was, uh, a, a real thing, um, I had watched and not cared too much about Excel World. I thought it was all, all overall pretty good. I still wasn't in love with anime at the time, whatever. Um, but when SAO came out, it, uh, it, it got me interested in Excel World more, and, um... It, it kind of just hit at the right moment in my life to get me interested uh, in, in topics I was already interested. I go to school for psych. I, at the time, was a caretaker. Um, and it just, there were enough, like, hits and pings between um, Sword Art Online and Excel World and rewatching Excel World for Sword Art, Sword Art Online um, that uh, I think it had more of an impact on me than it did most people. Excel World in particular. Uh, um, then, of course, I watched uh, SAO, and before... Uh, we... uh, That's why you shouldn't try and do that. It's what you get for pushing a burp out. Oh, that... Yeah, you earned that. Keep talking! <laughs> I'm, I'll be fine. <laughs> Anyways, so I I watched Sword Art Online as it came out. Um, I liked season one, um, part one. I disliked season one, part two. I hated season two, part one. I loved season two, part two. Oh, part two point two. Um, and season before two, this, part three. <laughs> sort of, kind of, not season really. two point two point two. Don't don't get all fucking Kingdom Hearts on me, you I'm bitch. Not. I'm getting That's like, exactly what Kingdom like Hearts a software does. update. This point, this point, this point, this. Um, if I if I went all Kingdom Hearts on you, I would have called it um, season two, two, two point two part, dash remix season, season two point two dot exe da, uh, dash uh, third by dream um, underscore uh, Kingdom of Amalur. <laughs> Uh, apostrophe, <laughs> um, Revenge of Kubla. I, I, that's that's what it would have been called. Okay, keep talking. <laughs> um, anyways, and then I stopped watching SAO for a long time. Um, I didn't watch Alicization when it started coming out. Um, and I didn't watch uh, Ordinal Scale, the movie, when it came out. Although I did get it. I did buy it on on Voodoo. I mean, we was on we, sale we, one day. I mean, we watched it yeah. recently. Yeah, so well, I'm saying before we did this. Oh, before you did yeah, this. Yeah, before so. this project. Uh, yeah, I hadn't seen these. Yeah, so that, that's my viewing history. What was your viewing history? And stop that. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a very burpy boy. Um, my You're viewing pushing was, it. That one was actually not a push. That one was fully natural. That first one was me really pushing it, but. Um, my viewing history of SAO was, um, I watched SAO Season 1, Part 1, thought that was the rest, met Paragon, <laughs> and he was like, fuck you, that's not the rest, go back and watch it, I refuse not believing him, and, uh, um, <laughs> found he was right, still refused to watch it, um, he got mad at me, <laughs> We rolled on a floor of piss for a while. <laughs> yes, I'm putting that in the viewing history. Okay. My shoes still... Technically, it was part of this. Yeah. My shoes still smell like piss somewhat, but that's beside the point. We literally rolled in dog piss and shit, fighting over trying to make him watch SAO. This went on for several hours. This is just again watch <laughs> season one, part two. 
just the second half of season one. Which the Elf High Mom Mark. Really didn't. <laughs> I really didn't want to watch. Oh, right. Also preface, any audience member um, of ours that hasn't seen SAO, this probably isn't for you. Unless you never plan on watching SAO, this is mainly for people who've watched SAO. Yeah. Even past that point, people who've watched Excel World. If you haven't watched Excel World, I highly recommend going out and watching it before watching this. Yeah. yeah. I also will say... I also like, will say it's just good. I also will say I, I've been, you know, as I said before, I've been very meme when it comes to my reactions with SAO. I will at least be a little more serious in terms of conversation. Just putting that out there. Anyone that's expecting me to explode and be a, you know, a cancer. I'm not going to be that tonight. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to be a Kirito hater tonight. Oh, I'm still going to be a Kirito hater. I'm just going to be, a, like, a lot more calmer Kirito hater. More calmer? You need to stop! Man, wait. Man, why are you going to... Why are you going to do this to me? Anyways, um... So we want. So basically, it was SAO Part One, SAO, SAO Season One Part One, SAO Season Two Part Two, and then I watched all of Season Two, and then I watched Alternative, and then I was like, "Oh yeah, cool." Um, I was done, and then I get a fucking call from uh, Paragon. <laughs> I mean, you weren't done yet. I mean, no, but I know, but I was, I, I know, I saw you had ordinal scale, and I, I, I know we were planning on just watching it together. So at least for watching shit by myself, I'm like, yeah, well, fucking done. And then, like, you're like, oh. I mean, Alicization <laughs> was out, and we were originally planning on covering that too in this. Yeah. For the record, we will not be covering Alicization, um, because, well, it's not complete yet. Um, it, it is, uh, now the very beginning of October when we're recording this, um, and season, part, well, part, Alicization part two. part two is about to start airing. Yeah. I think so we, we have yet to complete it. Yeah. So, fuck y'all. Anyways, we'll make a commentary on it once it's finished. Yeah. As a follow-up maybe. to this. Maybe. Sort of. Kind of. I don't know yet. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, you know, got a call saying I was not finished. I, I yelled at Paragon a little bit. Uh, did not first, because I thought he was talking about I had to watch one more thing. Thought I was already watching it. Realized that was the thing, and got mad at him. And then I watched Excel World, which I was very pleased with. Yeah, it's a good anime. And made me even more mad. <laughs> at what? At the way I watched it. And, like, sitting there being like, I wish this... I at least knew... This was a fucking thing. Okay, you did know it was a thing. No, had, no, 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 no. When I, I had told you in the past. No, not, not when I start. Not when I started Sao. Yes, way before we ever started this, I had told you. No, I didn't know you when I started watching Sao, or we didn't hang out like this before I started watching Sao. Okay, before this time and since we first talked about Sao a hell of a long time ago. I have told you of, of the show's existence. I get that, but what my point was, I wish I knew this before I even watched any SAO. And I didn't I didn't know you when I started the first season. So, my point still stands. I wish I knew about this before I watched any SAO. Yeah, right. Yeah. Continue. I will. Yeah? Uh, right after this quick break, because I need to take a shit. Oh, God. I know, I'm sorry. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. Oh, my God, you're so frustrated. I'm sorry. <laughs> While he took a shit, I checked out a game, Black Desert Online, which I've been looking forward to starting for a while. Now that I have a PC strong enough to do it, it looks so good. But holy shit, it distracted me for a minute. And I also closed our backup audio file um, to open it by accident. So. Come on, man. At least mine was like a... Hey, fuck, hey I didn't know mine's I had a, a backup, all right? <laughs> Fair enough, but still, the fact that you're like, we're going to make two, and it will be the backup. We're and then it's like, hey, listen, so no, I, I lost the, the backup, backup, and I'm backup. like, we're you good. bitch. <laughs> yes. Alright, so, moving on. Um, So that's how we watched SAO that yeah. we just did before. Uh, so now we should do... What? The meta narrative. 
Fuck the marinara. Nah, I'm joking. Nah, you uh, like the marinara. No, nah, I, I mean, like, overall... You respect the meta narrative. Overall, I do. I'm, I'm still frustrated how... The first part of SAO... Or the, oh, the first season of SAO ends. The first me. season of SAO ends in conjunction with both the narrative, super narrative, and meta narrative. It was still annoying. I mean, season two was also. Knowing the meta narrative was, was, was also season. It was also quite annoying. Again, I like. Honestly, I. I uh, maybe, maybe it's just because I like guns more. Maybe the idea of gun game online is just more appealing to me. Maybe that's why I like the second one. If, if so, guess. you might like the game that came out recently, Fatal Bullet, an SAO game. I actually don't like Fatal Bullet. I've actually tried that already. You tried Fatal Bullet? Yeah. Oh, God. It just looks like a JRPG. Yeah. No, it does. It's just like, uh, uh, whatever. But, um... Kind of wish that it actually made it into an FPS. Kind of, I, yeah. I'd, I'd be interested in, in playing an actual gun game online. Yeah, that would be cool. But... Yeah, so overall, man, do you want to go on your little thing? Because I know you went on a thing Dude, before. my thing is a huge thing, and the only reason I was able to go on it, our first attempt, is because you weren't conscious, really, so. Um, <laughs> I, I really was not conscious. I, I think this time, um, we'll rein it in a bit. Okay. Um, so the meta-narrative, um, first and foremost, doesn't start with Sword Art Online. The meta-narrative is um, introduced... Um, in Excel world. In in Excel world. Yeah. Um, which is the first kind of like Star Wars. It's the first movie. Yeah. It's the first show in this. Um, while Episode Four is technically Episode Four, it's the first movie that was made in the Star Wars universe. So it's the first Star Wars movie. Yeah. Um, Excel world is the first anime that was made in this universe. It is the first anime, and honestly, just like with Star Wars, the viewing of of this series should be done in order of how it was created. Um, just Excel kind World, of annoying, then yeah. SAO, then SAO uh, to whatever, then SAO Part One, SAO Part Two, Gun Gale Online, SAO Part Three. Yeah, and then uh, um, Actualization is SAO Part Three. Well, you you know what I mean, like Season Two Part Two. Oh, that, no, I don't think it should be split up like that. Actually. I, I if we're if we're talking about for viewership, people aren't gonna get the season one part two shit. Well, you you get you get what I mean. Yeah, I do. Like, but no, we're talking about for the audience. Go out watch, Excel World, Sword Art Online season one, Sword Art Online season two, and then Gun Gale Alternative, the movie or Null Scale, um, and then Alicization. Yeah. It's still annoying how it was done. But to be fair, I also find a way of watching Star Wars is kind of annoying as well. Although those I mean, were it, I was gonna say, way more enjoyable not, movies. No. Oh, fucking more enjoyable movies. Whoa, the thing that like is a pop culture like icon and the most influential like fan. Hey, I don't like them. I, I don't like them. Uh, is better than Sao. Hey, whoa. Uh, hey, I don't like them as much as most people do, honestly. And you already know this. Yeah, but it also shouldn't be a surprise that you acknowledge that they're better. Oh well, that's not a surprise. Oh, well, fuck you. I, I, it's, it's hard to compare the quality of something that is. I don't know. One has like affected. A singular medium, and one has affected all, all of fiction. Media, yeah, like, and a lot of nonfiction even. Look, just get, a lot of like actual like film. I mean, I get, I get that. I'm just saying that, like, you know, I'm okay with the way Star Wars. I, I mean, I'm still not okay with it, but I'm at least more accepting of it. Whereas Sao. So what do you I'm have a, a, against? Um, what do you have against? storytellers doing this huh what do you have against storytellers doing this it's, like, it's, it's not really, necessarily... it's not really an intentional thing I, I don't think usually I, I it's it's not it's not this this one is more of like a a personal thing and it's not something I immense immensely hate it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like ah fine and like it's like it's fine but god damn it like I'll never knock it off for points I'm just just annoying it's just way more annoying at SAO. It's just for 
the amount of hatred I had and then finding out this <laughs> and still having that hatred before other reasons now. <laughs> I, I think the fact that you still have that hatred, but the, the reasons for that hatred it's not changed, a, it's not is indicative that you shouldn't have had that hatred. In the it's not place. a it's not like a fucking brewing fucking huge ass bonfire of a flame hatred that I had before. It's now more of like, like yeah, like but you, a your mind camp. basically had to invent new reasons. It wasn't no, I didn't invent hating. new reasons. It was just like what the fuck, like it just like it like bothered me and like. Story wise, but why does that bother your stories? I think if you made this and um, had Excel World, hell, I I think even viewing it like um, if you view Excel World first, there is almost no point in which you should actually have hated this, given your reasons to. May honestly, maybe that could be, but we don't live in a world in which time travel exists, so we don't know. Or, or brainwashing. I mean, I mean, mind. I mean, uh, bra- mind erasing. Erasing. There we go. I mean, I could hit you over the head pretty hard. We could try this again. Yes, but I would forget a lot of things other than SAO. So I would yeah, prefer you not do it'd, that. It'd just be important to rewatch SAO. Yeah, yeah, but I, I would also need to, you know, probably rewatch the family tapes because I probably wouldn't know who my family is at that point. No, 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 no. no. We'll just adopt <laughs> you. You'll be better off for it. Ah. Uh, 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 I mean, <sighs> that, we're not we're not gonna get into this. <laughs> we're not gonna get into this. But um, maybe I mean I will say this. I will not. I I I can guarantee you, I still would not like Kirito. And we already went through through this before. And I know you said it. If I you don't like I Kirito. Don't if you get don't the hate of Kirito. I know, but like I know. Don't get no, it. I mean like the general hate is kind of meme. But at least I remember you were like, hey, if you hate Kirito for that for the reasons that you do, then you have to hate every other main protagonist. I told you, I fucking do. I don't like except for you don't. I so don't. If you hate, really... if you hate Kirito for those reasons, you should hate Edward. You do not hate Edward. It's kind of hard to hate Edward. He's the assumption of my book. But I do hate a lot of other people, such as Goku. Do you hate Ichigo. the main character in, uh... Whatchamacallit? Erased? No, but this Even is Even though not... he has a unexplicable power that breaks his world and makes him OP as fuck? That does bother me. That have, that w- always bothered me. I wrote a, I wrote an article trying to fucking defunct it, but every time I did, it just turned into anger, and I just didn't. I decided not to release it because I do like yeah, the story of Asao way too. Um, that, not Asao. I like the story of a race way too much for me to release that. I'm like, I can't release this. I like the story and this anime too much to write such a hateful fucking thing. I'm. I'm more consistent than you think. The only other consistency that I will give you is Edward. In that case, um, you need to review why you dislike these things and stop it. Oh, I, I'm not going to stop it. You could. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to stop world. it. Why not? Because I think these are valid. First of all, I don't think this is a valid criticism. And second of all, um, so your argument is automatically invalid off of one of, like, one of the storytellers, like, big premises. Is that... Um, if you're not watching the most important person for an event at a time, why are you watching what you're watching? It's not the... A huge part of narrative, Okay, I get... especially for like a big adventure story where there is a hero involved, is that you follow the hero because they're the hero. You don't really technically construct like a world around a hero. You construct a hero around the world, and the hero does these things because they're an exceptional person. So you shouldn't be mad at them for being exceptional. I can if be they mad weren't at the exceptional, shit making there wouldn't no be a se- show or there wouldn't be a history. I can be mad at the shit making no sense. Best example. Does it make Goku. no sense? Goku fucking most of the series makes absolute zero sense. To be fair, Does Dragon it- Ball itself... A lot of it doesn't make sense. You know what? Mm-hmm. At one point, I might agree with you. I'm fight you on this one. Goku makes perfect sense. Goku does not make perfect sense. Get the um, fuck out of here. Perfect makes perfect sense under the assumption that you don't ever actually know the rule of um of of, of his genetics. Essentially, essentially, you don't 
you're never really told an accurate um, summation of what makes the Super Saiyans powerful. If you go we by are. this, no, you're not. Yes, we are. So, so we are. When we are during the Namek with the, during the the Namek arc, where Vegeta finds out that it, or that he gets stronger every time he fucking. Um, every time he gets defeated, and this this has been at least right. canonical for the most part, right? Which is fucking so, stupid. So, it's given that explanation, so. all the previous explanations before the Namek arc were all fucking wrong, right? What do you mean? All other explanations before that point about what made Saiyan strong or what their limits were were wrong, correct or incorrect. Not really, because there's another... Yes, correct. Th- not really, because there is another reason, and I don't like the way Kira Toriyama did, the, did that one, which is more of an ass pull than the Saiyan one, which is dumb, which is really, really dumb. It's just dumb. Just say it. <laughs> so, Saiyans, the Saiyan cells, uh-huh. all Saiyans have these. And in order to be, in order to get to the Super Saiyan, you usually have to have a more pure of heart. You really have to be a nice person. The Saiyan race yeah. in the Dragon Ball yeah. series, the Saiyan yeah. race in the Dragon Ball series, is not nice race. They are a very violent, very aggressive, very angry race. You can interpret the pure of heart as a couple different ways. No, actually, the show itself actually has examples that you can use for it too. I, I like what examples? Um, what's his name? The guy with the B name. The The, big, 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 super strong Saiyan who, like... That's a lot of people. (laughs) Oh, oh, Brawley. Brawley, Brawley. Brawley. Brawley's an example. He's pure of heart, not really in that he's a pure of heart nice dude, because he's actually, like, a serial killer for, like, intelligent creatures, animals, and beasts. Um, and he's socially inept. Um, he's more pure of heart in that there are no impurities, not that he's pure of heart and purely nice. Even though also least, he does things that you can say support him being strong of character um, or respectful of others um, or even heroic, he's not pure of heart in the same way that Goku is. I will say this. He's pure in that he doesn't have like conflict in himself. Not in that he, he's actually like like purely good. I appreciate sure that he's not. He's not purely good. Well, yeah, he's not purely good. But also, that was mostly notched up to, um. Oh, there we go. That was mostly shit. I'm gonna pick that up later. Uh, that was mostly notched up to the fact of natural ability. But again, no, I, I, I but wasn't. again, no, huh? it wasn't. Huh? No, it wasn't. In the movie we watched, no, it wasn't. He stated that he was as a kid, his power level was already yeah, higher than Vegeta. Why was that? They don't give an actual fucking explanation. Pure yeah, they do. But you uh, connect it to past explanations. So he was pure of heart. From the beginning, he was pure. He was and pure we Saiyan. Actually, pure and Saiyan we actually, isn't necessarily And we like actually pure, like, do get an example of what they mean by pure heart. They do mean like a nice kind of person. I mean, to be fair, probably in this one, no, is, they is usually nice, do. I'll give, I'll, I think there are enough give, examples of. I will give this. The I will opposite. give the most current one. I will give the most current one the past because this Broly. Isn't actually necessarily mean. He is a he is kind hearted. He's just forced to do re- some really fuck shit, and his powers overwhelm a lot. But we see this with Trunks and Go- and Gotenks, where they are more are nice are like more kind hearted people, and they in the series like Trunks is like it's like literally there's a scene where Vegeta where it's like it's gonna take a lot of training and a lot of heart, but eventually you will get to Saiyan. But it's gonna take a lot of time, and then literally like oh look I did it. It's like uh, you you shouldn't have done that. And then Gotenks is able uh-huh, to do uh-huh, this. Uh-huh, and even when uh-huh. they go into the Universe 7, which has the parallel universe where the Saiyans are actually uh-huh, nice, uh-huh, that uh-huh. dude is able to do it as well. So again, yeah. I, like I said... Yeah, none of that actually fights anything I said. Again. None of none of that disagrees with me. Are you talking about this current Broly or, or previous Broly? It doesn't Broly? matter which It Broly. does, because it, this... It actually does It, it does, because that past Broly was actually it, mean, and this one is actually It nice. actually doesn't. It either, does. Either way, both of them, neither one is purely good. Uh, both of them have some amount of, like... Not the not the one, not, previ- not the previous not the previous non canon Broly. That boy was just mean, and they do keep a canonical that it is someone who is nice, kind, yeah, who is a nice person. So work both, both neither, neither are purely good. 
neither. But they give you a, they give you the idea of what you would need to unlock to be a Saiyan. And Broly does not have that. He, he just just that naturally strong. Except in the for Uncanny no, he version, does have that. And you the can Uncanny absolutely okay, interpret. Okay. We're not okay. even talking about. We're not even talking about Dragon Ball. We 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 we're, we're not. Okay, fine. <laughs> I don't even know what we're arguing with SAL. What does this? What did this even? What, what were we even arguing about in the first place? All oh, right, Kirito. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck you, <laughs> fuck Kirito. Kirito is no more ass pulley. In fact, he's far less ass pulley than most other anime. Well, that, well, that's uh, well, that's the thing. It, the hatred now isn't like because like they gave a whole system and it's just like. I can't argue over the system if it was originally there. And it was. However. And it was. It was so. Because remember, SAO is meant to be an explanation of how it comes about. And it's like, I know there are other people, such as the girl, the cancer girl, and the fucking leader of the, 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 I'm going to call them salamander elves. I don't remember what the fuck they were. They were the fire salamanders, yeah. Oh, the fire, okay, cool. The fire salamanders. The leader of us and I know, like they had abilities where it's just like abilities, oh. unique skills, unique. Uh, yeah, which is like fair, but they gave Kirito so much, and I get it because the main character, literally, but oh my god, no, no, man! No, 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 you don't. It's not. He's the oh, main I mean, character. Not the main character, but he, he's. It's, the, he's why the, is he the main character? Well, like, he's because like, he's, he is these things. Because he is. The avatar in which we're supposed to explore the existence of these things. He is the meta narrative's avatar. It doesn't feel like the thing I like about a cell world is the fact that, at least to me, it feels it feels like it feels somewhat like balanced. I never. It fe- is balanced. I, I never feel balance. like that in SAO. I always feel like that's because you're a not challenge supposed to. And Kirito, be- because you're not supposed to. The world of balance hasn't come around yet. So you're not supposed to feel like Kirito's balance. That's not what it is. It's not enjoyable at the point because it's just like, oh, well. I mean, Because you sit there and say, well, Kirito's the, just going to fucking figure out. disagree with you. Well, it's just like, oh, Kir- it's like, oh, Kirito's just going to figure out a way to do this. Oh, whatever. It's not just he's good. He does no, not good, but, but like the story He wise, deeper it's... dives than everyone else. But no, it's not he that. It's just, no, it's not, it's not world that. World it's just the fact that you sit there and say, oh, well, Kirito's going to just figure out a way to do this. Where at least in the Cell World, uh, Cell World, I actually just we felt that there was times where the character could have actually failed. Okay, and your feels over feel. reels like really hard right now. I'm telling you, I'm telling you exactly, I'm telling you like fucking, um, wow, that was, feel? no, that was a big, huge aim for it. Like, I'm, I'm breaking it, I'm breaking it down for you. Yes, from my point of view, but like, it's not, not really a breakdown when you skip the breakdown to go with feels. It's a breakdown if you go with the real. This made me feel this way because of this. You're jumping from this is shit because I feel like it's this. No, Kirito not ent- entertaining because he's just fucking. You just assume that he can just be everything. Well, I could say the same thing about every main character always. Not every main character. Yes, There's a every lot main of main character. There are a lot of main characters. What main character have you ever been like? Oh man, I don't think they'll survive this I show. I just said uh, not not survive. I don't. I don't I think not they'll, just, they'll not survive this show. Find but a I way. feel like there was times where Kirito just couldn't fail. Where like most of the time, I just felt and like that he was going was to succeed. Narratively, part of the point. Wait, what's like? But like, That's, if it's to these be, aren't actual arguments against it. But in two, but in order to feel like at least real and compelling, you want at least the character to fail sometimes. And I felt like most he of the times fail. he did. Why does he fucking fail? Dude. When does he actually fail? Okay, season one. Part one, as you like to call it. The, um, you told me that was the, the fuck you! Don't you dare! The Don't put that on me! Arc. Listen, I've always called them the I'm Crad and Alpine Marks. But, but when I first yeah, told you about it... Yeah, you. Just huh? showing it for you. Because you thought... See, okay, but don't put that... you no, thought don't, that, that... Don't put that on me, You then. thought that Ayn Crad was all of season one. So I said, no, that was like part okay, one. But don't put that, that on me. Don't be like, that's a you thing. Oh, that's, that's a, a you thing. That's a you thing that you put on me. Don't uh, you dare. Don't you, you dare. Projected. Don't you even dare. Anyways, mm. in Ayn Crad, mm. in Ayn Crad, Kirito has a shit ton of failings. Right out the gate. The first episode... He fails to make social contact with people. He immediately um, rejects Klein and goes off and does his, his own thing solo. That is a failing. Whether or not he knows it yet, it is. And the rest of the following couple episodes 
are based around that being a failing. Oh, you're talking he about, comes you're talking about the time when he, when he helps that fucking girl with a dragon and then helps her with the clan and then the clan just start slashing him and it's like, oh yeah, well, I'm just too overpowered for you. So like, yeah, whatever. in the next couple episodes. That's that was literally. that was like episode three or four. Don't you even That's, start. Okay, but the next couple episodes is the arc way before that where he's with the group where the girl dies. It's like one episode, don't you even... That's not a couple of Your episodes. point being, I'm sorry, am, am, is my point invalid? Because you said a couple of episodes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Is am I wrong? Shut the fuck up. Technically, yes, because you said Shut a couple of episodes. Shut the fuck up and, and fight. And, I'm just saying, you said a couple of episodes? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's Stop interrupting then. Stop being a pussy. I'm not being a pussy, I'm just telling you, you said a couple. You're, you're just mad because I've immediately come up with like I'm an not episode mad about, fix, I'm not mad thing. about anything, I'm you just mad about the time about the fucking anime. instantly, in season, in season one, episode one, fails. Next episode, fails. He does next not fail next episode. Fails. Yes, because the next episode, see, episode two is the one about the fucking girl dying or whatever. Or maybe that's okay, that, okay, yeah, that so episode, yeah, I mean, yeah, he fails. Yeah, fine. so he, he fails. He fails socially. He fails uh, the, the people he, he starts to care about. Um, he lies and, and, and is punished for that lie, lying. Um, he, he, he fails all the time. He suffers from this failure. Um, and he learns the wrong lessons from these failures. And then later has to unlearn these lessons. He meets more people that he trusts. And he learns that the way he dealt with shit was the wrong way to deal with it. That while it made him more powerful, it also made him weaker. That him as a person is unable to socialize with these people now. Um, even though people are way past the beater shit, uh, he's still like self-identified as like an outcast. Uh, even though other people have given up on, on, on giving a crap anymore. Um, he is a constant bundle of failures that's always learning new lessons. The only way in which he's strong is physically. That's not, that's not even meta narrative at work. That's core narrative. He fails constantly and is only successful in one aspect that he's the strongest in game player. And that's the point. That's not even meta narrative. That's primary narrative. And that's annoying. Listen, that can be annoying to you, but then you're going to have to think of a, a reason why that feels annoying to you. Because I think it's not the worst way of showing weakness, of, of, of showing someone who's like overcompensating. That's a pretty standard storytelling gimmick. I've seen better main storytelling in a lot of shows. All right, now, um, what's your counter to me? What's your, what's your, nah, he's too big to fail, ever? I told you, it's a big fail. How? Like, other than that, he succeeds at literally, like, every task. It removes the enjoyment of ever feeling like he's a real character that fails. Sure, he fails in those social aspects of... He doesn't just uh, fail in social aspects. He literally gets people killed. I just said that. Yeah, there's that time he fails, but, like... Other t most of the time, it feels like every task that's put upon him doesn't even feel like a challenge for so him. So, like, and every it externalized it task, maybe, and not even all of those. Because in a lot of those, he doesn't just succeed. He doesn't just, like, power through it. It's not like that episode where, like, all the people hitting him, he's staying still, and they can't lower his health. Usually, it's actually something that is a challenge, um, or that he has a couple failings. You know what? Let's go with uh, the episode where he's helping the blacksmith. In that episode, he's introduced to a dragon. He does not instantly kill the dragon and get the dragon shit he needs to make his new weapon out of. You know what happens? They fall down a hole. They fail. He fails. Even his physical abilities can't get him out of the hole. They have to spend all night contemplating this shit. And then he spends the next morning looking around and finding out shit about the lair. And then they think of a way out. To get, ride the dragon out or whatever. That's not just an instant win. That's not Kirito being too big to fail. That's him failing and coming back from it. Just like in almost every narrative you've ever said you enjoyed. No, Kirito is just annoying. He's just an annoying little prick. Listen, I think you've hardcore let the memes get in your way here. I think you, like a lot of people, I, have hardcore I like get just... other people's opinions on this character get in the way of your first interpretation, and ever since, you've just been dogmatically stuck to it. No, I genuinely don't like Kirito. 
Why? Because he's an annoying little prick who's OP. And How is he annoying? At what point is he annoying? Mm-hmm. How is... At what point is he annoying little prick? What's a, like, um... What's a, what's a moment that he seems to embody annoying little prick to you? His personality just... No, no. A moment. <sighs> so, come on. Some kind of primary narrative shit. Something that actually happened in show that we saw. Well, as far as I can come up with moments where I think he's being an annoying little prick. But all those are moments, moments he learns from and learns that he was wrong in and grows over. So... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I blanked out. I blanked. I, no, no, no. I'm not even memeing. Uh, I, no, I'm not even memeing. I blanked out for, for a split. All right. Night. Come up with okay. a moment in the narrative at any point that Kirito embodied being an annoying little prick to you. The beginning, he was annoying. The first couple of episodes. So, like, the first couple of episodes where he learns later that he was wrong and moves beyond that. So, he's not actually like that. The first couple episodes I don't know, where like, he's I meant think, to like, be he annoying and just he like as him throughout the entire him. like season, it's just fucking annoying. I All just right. don't like him. I just don't like fucking Kirito. Kirito's annoying. I don't like Kirito. All right, Kirito's All a little right. bitch. All right, so you feel like he's annoying. Kirito's annoying. No, you feel like he's annoying. You can't come up with Kirito's an actual annoying. argument or moment in in the universe to back you up on this. You feel like he's annoying. Kyoto is annoying. No, little objectively, bitch. he's no more annoying than most other characters. Kyoto is an annoying little, uh, little bitch. Man, dude, he's you're hardcore failing. The, he's the annoying part of this audience. He's an annoying little scrub. All right, so moving on from Kyoto, man, we're not even going over meta narrative. Yeah, we're, we're just going over Yeah, we just we just we we've we moved away from the meta narrative and like like instantly. Yeah. Um, all right, so should we do the meta narrative, or do you want to go over like other characters you hate and just hate or like? <clears throat> fuck it, let's go through characters. He's the, he's the only he's the only one I like truly fucking hate. Everyone else, I'm like. Do you have any other problems with the series, or is it really just Kirito? Um, for the second part, I I I I'm not. Second no, it's not. Part I, it's not that I hate. It's not that I hate her. Work. It's not that I hate her. Okay, I'm not if a big talking fan. about second part of season one, Elfheim. Yes, call Elfheim. Yes, we should be using. Einkrad, Elfheim, uh, Gungale, and the, just whatever the name of the arc is, use that. Right, right, cool. All right, so season one with the elf niggas. <laughs> okay. I'm a slap. <laughs> All right, so Elfheim. Um, I'm not a big fan of hers, just because like oh uh, 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 of 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 and then in, in the sense of like oh yeah, I hate what Elfheim does to Austin. Yeah, we've all, we've like, has, like an actually strong female protagonist. Yeah, where well, it's like I don't like you, but at awesome. least. You elude some fucking yeah, realism and like some badassery. A single moment in in, in Alfheim, and yeah. that's it. And it's just like, all right, cool. You just, I guess she's just like other than that, one of the like other girls. Ex- all right, she's just exploited the fuck out of and made to be like a fucking goal, a trophy. Yeah, um, the victory stage, and they like multiple times like do hell rapey shit with her because they decide they just want to exploit her with rape shit. Over yeah. and over again, that sucked. Yeah, that was uncomfortable in some points as well. In a lot of points, yeah. that was really uncomfortable. And some of those were like intentional. Some of them were not. Some of them were exploitive and were uncomfortable because you knew they didn't want to be uncomfortable with it. Yeah. The tentacle, the tentacle rape scene, um, was uncomfortable. Even though I think it was set up like a joke, something that was supposed to be enjoyable to the audience. That was shitty. Um, other times. All the other times it was used to make you uncomfortable, it was genuinely uncomfortable, and that was the point. And I accept that for the most part, ish. I still hate that they did it with Asana, but yeah. I mean, I mean, this is cute though. He just has that stupid ass sense of justice. If there was a girl that was locked up that was still there. He could he could have that would have been more of enough reason to I, I mean um I they mean like already, they're, they're, they already had the reason for him to do it the 300 people from SAO that never logged out Actually that's a that good That they were keeping prisoned Actually that's a good and torturing That's a good point That itself would have been enough 
to make Kirito go up there. Like, awesome, if the like, rumor had been that hundreds of people from SAO, the SAO servers had never gone out, and that the rumor was that they'd been there, he would have gone in there. It didn't take Austin. That's that's capture. a good point. And you didn't even have to have Austin out in like in that one to like even talk for the most for most of that part in order for it to get the point across. I mean, there's a whole there's a whole one with Austin though, where Kirito is like rarely even in it. I mean, so it's like you like, could have done one without Austin. You know all you know those scenes where they're like um uh like torturing the brains. Yeah, they could have just. Every scene that was Asuna's, instead, not have been as lazy about the torturing the brains thing, and maybe shown people being tortured, maybe people we knew from Aincrad, maybe Klein got, it was one of those 300 people. Um, no, hell, maybe was, Asuna was simply one of those 300 people. No, it was, uh, they, they confirmed that. I, I mean, know. I mean, they could I know. <laughs> but I'm saying he could Oh, you, okay, okay, okay. I'm okay. saying the, the, like, the ways to do it, um, that they could have done... That would have made more sense for, like, you know, doing a Kirito saving people would have just. and been less exploitative would be to not exploit us. Actually, they. I mean, you probably already. you probably mean this way, but they could have. We could have had Asuna in this, but in certain scenes where, like, we see what type of nightmares and dreams. Yeah, like I said, yeah, just make Asuna one of the 300. Yeah. Yeah. Like, maybe there's a. You can. Hell, you can even keep the creeper, um, like, owning the 300 people inside there. Um, Just make him super creepy, yeah. Yeah, make him super creepy, like he was already in the external world. Make that an external thing. In real life, this is happening. He has nothing to do with the Elfheim shit, really. Um, maybe, like, uh, you still have the final battle between his avatar and Kido because he's in there, but he's just there observing the tortures. He's not actually targeting Asuna. Yeah. And then in real life... He's only targeting Asuna because of the family connection thing. They can keep that yeah. um, and and make it so that he's interested. He is interested in someone who can't fight back, and he has no interest in her mind. Yeah. Make it even creepier that he's only into her body and her family's money, and he has no interest in her mind. And you can even make this like a narrative point in the thing where like you see him going around and inspecting like the torture of people's brains or whatever. Um, you can have him pass as- asanas um, and have one of the people working for him being like, "Oh, I hear you're marrying her ne- next next week. Yeah. Uh, would Would you like uh, w- Would you like anything special for her?" Um, and then he goes, "No, it doesn't matter to me. She means nothing to me. I like like I, like that would make even more like this this human like creep sense. Yeah. Without exploiting her. Yeah." It's creepy as fuck, dog. Um, I will give it. I will give the series this through and through. I never hated any of the fight scenes. Yeah, fight scenes are done pretty well. Um, I actually really. Oh, you hate the really, final boss of Ordinal um, Scale. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I really don't like the final boss of Ordinal Scale. I think it's really lazy. Um, I, I, I think I honestly you, like I, it. No, no, no. I think it's lazy in not just one way. Not just the way you think I'm saying. I think it's lazy from like every viewpoint. As the final boss to to um to Aincrad, as like the four one hundred final thing, it's a la- like to a game. It's a lazy final boss. It's a big humanoid that can call forth some vines from the ground and has like paladin powers. Essentially, she had a lot more shit than that. She had she some, didn't have much more shit. She been saw, she was summoning trees. She was yeah, shooting lasers vine, from her first eyes. First of all, the summon of the tree actually wasn't a tree summon. The tree summon was a self healing spell, and you see this a lot in JRPG stuff, um, like the healing tree that drops like the dew of healing and crap, um, the kind of phoenix down healing shit. That's actually a, a game mechanic thing. Um, not only that. And that makes that lazy. That's a regular game mechanic thing that's just in there that the final boss uses. Um, the vines coming out of the ground were not more than that. They were just vines and shit coming out of the ground. Um, I mean, she did, she, her, she, she, the weapons she used were kind of lazy. Um, her design was was pretty simple and, and kind of disappointing. It wasn't particularly scary. It was big. That was about it. All right, then what would you have done, Mr. I know, I know... For, for final game. bosses? Final bosses have to be one of two things visually. They need to be something you're intimately familiar with or intimately unfamiliar with. For intimate familiarity, a good example of a final boss is Harbinger from Mass Effect. Um, 
it's uh, the Reapers are like this thing you you've been looking at throughout the entire series. You fight Sovereign in Mass Effect One. You fight um, like the the Collectors and and by extension Harbinger in Mass Effect Two. Um, and and then in Three, there are hundreds of Reapers everywhere. You're intimately familiar with them and the threat they pose. And the like final confrontation on the planet, as shit as the end of Mass Effect Three is. Um, what isn't shit is the fact that you feel like you're facing death. Um, you're, you're, you're seeing something that you're intimately familiar with all of the subtext for, and it means something to you. That's horrifying and scary. You know what is also my example of something extremely unfamiliar? The Reapers from Mass Effect. They're these massive oct octopus um, like their, their, their like brains are like, um, they're, they're like, we, we exist in a realm so far beyond your own. You cannot even imagine it. Their, their entire point is that they're like a Lovecraftian supervillain. That's like, you can see their body, but you're not comprehending their, their, their scope. Um, and that's like a really big thing. Lovecraftian enemies are awful they're terrifying they're alien they're foreign um sometimes you can be completely unfamiliar with them and they still make a great final boss the orphan of cause from um bloodborne um is like this fetus with a placenta on it that's attacking you you know almost nothing about it it makes a great final villain this was just a big shiny white and red paladin looking thing with a couple extra arms and a just big i mean and you can say that for a lot of bosses in the sao world or at least in, at least in the except for a at lot least of in the bosses are least, also creative as fuck at least in the tower you know like, what already made a better final villain what the villain of floor like 30 whatever that they're on um in the Einkrad arc the final one the skeleton millipede with a scorp like a double headed scorp like here's the big skeleton thing that they're fighting oh it can uh. crawl on the ceiling it comes out of the darkness um it's horrifying it's terrifying um it, it's it sounds like it's made of metal um it, it it's it's uh it doesn't seem to have a, a a very valid weak point uh it can attack from in front and behind and it and it's this horribly alien thing, and it's, it's large, but it's not. It doesn't look like someone just scaled up unnecessarily large to the point where you can't shouldn't be able to interact with it. It looks like it's way larger than everyone else fighting it, but still accurately sized to them so they can interact with it. That's a much better boss. A lot of the SAO boss designs, too, are simple because they're in the beginning levels. The Minotaur is a simple boss because it's a Minotaur in level 3 or whatever. So, yeah, I'd agree. A lot of the bosses we saw in SAO directly are kind of generic bosses. Not necessarily weak, just generic. And I think that's intentional because you start people with what they know. The ground floors of Aincrad gonna be filled with basic ass bosses, and they're gonna get more and more alien as you go on. And they did; they became more and more powerful, more and more alien. Uh, you started to see like the Grim Reaper pop up randomly uh, somewhere, and it's just like that shit happened. I thought the boss was fine. <laughs> That's just from the gameplay aspect. Now let's go with the narrative aspect. Final boss of Aincrad should mean something. It should mean something to everyone there. It should be a personification of all of their fears from Aincrad. All of their traumas that they'd experienced up to that point. And you know why I say specifically their fears and traumas? Because then it would also tie into the meta-narrative, which is about the internalization of fears and traumas. It should have been something that actually looked like something... Um, they should be afraid of from there. Whatever boss maybe they found most terrifying that killed the most of them, maybe like the level 5 boss or wherever the most number of people died, maybe it should resemble some ultimate form of that. Or maybe the final boss should be like um, an undead version of, of like uh, the, the, the top PK or something. 
Um, the, or, or maybe it should even be like um, a perverted essence. Uh, if you want to go like really meta narrative with how the final boss of Aincrad should have been, maybe the final boss should have been made with the collective data of all the people that had been killed. Because we know the game has been collecting mental data because that's what um, what's her name exists for. Um, their eventual daughter. Um, she like exists to like observe the players and be like the safety net for them. Now it would stand to, stand to reason that the game is collecting all this data for a reason. And maybe that reason was because the final boss was supposed to be this culmination of all the dead people. They have to literally finally kill all of their dead friends in order to leave the game. Would have made a better final boss. And it would have directly tied in to the movie Ordinal Scale, where people's memories were being stolen to make something, to make a person. So you could have made the final boss of Aincrad be the past people of Aincrad still. You still could have had that and been the big thing. This was always in the system. The system was always collecting our minds, our memories, our data. It was always doing this. They've only done this now for a different purpose. Like, it would have made such a better meta narrative and base narrative thing. That is my example for what they could have done with the level 100 final boss of Aincrad that would have been better. There's something about that that would seem off if, the, if that was in the movie. But I feel like Ordinal Scale would need its own series. And no, like, I feel nah, like it's a movie. They legit could have extended it by five minutes. And, no, I mean, like, I feel like, I feel like, in order to get to that po- to that point of final bossery. You would at least need like maybe like a couple of episodes to at least describe no, a little no, bit. No, no, they more. don't. They really don't. I don't know. They literally could have just been like because yeah, they talk about they, stealing the minds and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah, get yeah. It, but like get it to the point of like the we'd f- already had that set up in the movie because that's what the whole Yuna thing is. They've already explained it to that point. We already know that's how that works. Um, all they have to say is that. Why didn't this happen to us when we when we were in an SAO? And then the final boss could come and and Kiro could be like, "Oh my god, it was happening to us in SAO." Whenever we died, and he could have been like, "That's why it had to happen every time we died in the game." Um because throughout the movie, the their memories were only being stolen when they were killed in boss battles. Right there. That's it. That's the tie-in. They've already explained it. It's already built in. That seems, that seems a little jank. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, dude. It seems I, a little jank. Nah. Like I feel like that 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 would that just feels really weird with the movie. Like I like I get it. Like you you can't. Well, the movie maybe would've, I would maybe I would need the to movie would have felt differently instead of having the big happy go lucky final boss um, fun battle at the end. It would have been like a double punch. They would have been like uh, doubling down on the horror of the event. Um, and then they could have changed the meta narrative to be more about recovery or about acceptance or moving on. Um, I, I feel, yeah, I feel like the I feel yeah like they the, would have had to change the meta narrative, but it still works within the one we were given. Not only that, it yeah. works within the framing of the meta narrative, which is even more important because we can change the meta narrative itself as long as that framing remains intact. We don't have to do too much work in the re-editing. So. I feel like there'd be a, have to be a little bit more changes than you think there would be. In the, I really don't think it would take that many changes. Smoothly. It would take... Nah. I could actually write you a script in which it would be different. I'm pretty sure that I'd have to change three scenes, maybe. Mm. Maybe. 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 Just change the entire last 20 minutes of the film. That's it. I feel like you've. Uh, I feel like you would have to change more than just that. I don't think I would. I feel like you'd have to change more than. Yeah, you can think that, but you're probably wrong. I, you would probably. How? Have to change what? More what would I need to change? What can you think of that I would need to change more than that? The story progression, because How? it focuses. It fo- like yeah, it focuses a lot. On, it still focuses on Up some in, parts of like the past with SAO with taking the memories, but I feel like you also have to. You you kind of have to bring up. The f- bring not bring up their fear, not bring up their fears or terrorizations, but like at least address it one like not every, not like constantly, but at least at, at some point. 
How? I don't know. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm like I, trying to figure out. Like, I would be you bringing up at some point. You can do it in the last twenty minutes. But that would just feel that would just feel so weird pulling that out when like that's not really addressed throughout the rest of it. Except for um, it kind of is. So here's the thing: you don't need to directly address. Well, no, it. no, I'm not as even, long as no, it fits even, with what came I'm not, before. I'm not, you not don't even need saying to directly. directly I'm not even saying directly address it. It just doesn't feel like it. it I it. could simply write an explanation for it that fits what came before, and all of a sudden, the entire movie has been doing that up to that point. You're just now realizing it. It's not actually hard to change a narrative. Using a, a, a reveal of meta narrative, it's not hard to change the context of, of a narrative. It's not. Mm, I don't. I'm still not, I'm still not 100% sure about this. Anyway, this, this isn't a show about rewriting SAO. This is a show. Oh man, that'd be a, that'd be a six hour podcast on its own. If we ready. could totally do that, though. I really, don't. I would actually. Happily, I really I'd don't happily want to go through a project where we. Uh, you can do that through and, you and rebuild can do that. Sao. You can do that for your own channel with 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 what you got now, which you should get on that soon. By the I way, I would. Yeah. Um, so, which one of our friends is going to give me my video editing shit? That's a conversation. Yeah, you need I've to been have. having it with all of them. None of them can. None of them have given me shit, and I'm considering if I can't afford it, buying it now. Well, then you need to be in Alex and actually talk to them more and push more. But other than that, is there? Um, I know. I know. There's more that we need to address. <laughs> in terms of things you disliked about the series? No, just in general. Oh well, yeah. In general, we haven't discussed the meta narrative yet. Have we really not discussed the matter now? We or? really haven't even started yet. Yeah. At this point, should we just talk about the story? Because it seems like that's just where this is leading to. I mean, sure. We can start with the story. What are you? What are you? What are you looking at? Um, my bank statement. Why does it matter to you? Because this is a podcast, and bitch, why I are you want... interrupting the podcast? Because I'm not I interrupting want... the podcast because I want. Your undivided attention. I want to feel loved by your eyes when I talk to you and when you talk to me. And I feel like that you're not giving me the attention that I deserve. Oh, ah, no! Leave me alone! <laughs> if you want my full attention, I will grab your dick, look you in the eyes, and give you my full attention. I really don't want you to grab your attention. There we go. Then you don't want my full attention. Your full attention doesn't have to require me to grab my dick. Uh-huh. uh-huh. It's not required. You keep telling yourself that. It's not required. I don't know where... I don't know... Who taught you that? Or how you learned that? All I know is that they need to be arrested and they need to be charged with sexual assault. Because that's not how you get someone's undivided attention. Properly. That's not the right way. You're telling it's me. It's a way. You're telling me. It's a we way. we grasp each other by no, the no, arm no, and look into each other's eyes. We won't have each other's full no. undivided attention. Well, first of all. More no. full than any other way we could have, probably. No, because I mean... Really? Like, I'd be looking away, being weird as fuck. No, 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 no. no. We each no. grab each other by the no, arms and look into each other's eyes. No, that right man. there, that is the no. deepest. <laughs> that is not the deepest. No, the deepest collection is literally me putting my wiener inside you and going deep into that. What I don't think I it is. We can't look each other in the eyes during that. Yeah, you can. For, mm, yeah, you can. yeah. Nah, we too fat. Not, we're not doing that position, dude. I, we we can we could if we could trust tr- it would be real uncomfortable trust, trust me I'd be too distracted by my back pain nah tr- trust me I, I know <laughs> we're able to do I don't know I don't know I, I can't <laughs> really, nah it's not happening dude it's nah you be, yeah, I, cause you'd have to be like bend down shit cause I I'm short and this band is short and uh, we never said I'm not on a raised we platform never, we never maybe said, if I was on a raised platform we never said I, an angled raised platform maybe we never said that we do it on your bed my bed listen my bed's an big angled enough to do raised it. platform okay maybe. this this conversation is not what we need to talk about right now even though maybe ever we never have ever to talk ever about this. <laughs> we never need to talk about this we never will well, we probably will at some point talk about this again, just because it's us. But we don't need to. Um, okay. So, what direction you want to go? Because Excel world first. Okay. Um, narrative of Excel world. Uh, fat piggy dude. Um, main character like that. Main main character is a is a fat short pig of a boy, and um, he's really good at doing game stuff. He's real fast. <laughs> fat, he's, uh, piggy boy. He's, you could describe him as um, a fat Kirito. 
He's uh, don't do that. In in game world, he's the don't fastest do one. Don't do that. He's unstoppable, unbeatable. Do Other people have to cheat to beat him. It turns out. To be fair, the last villain that technically didn't cheat. He he who? huh? Who? Uh, Nomi. Totally cheated. No. Yes, they agreed to a duel, and he brought in outside help that didn't enter into the system, which means that they weren't... Oh, oh that, he yeah. cheated then, but, like, their first battle, technically, no. His avatar has those powers. That is how his avatar was built. And was... Uh, so? That's not cheating, and he did technically beat him. He didn't beat him in the end. In the end, but he uh, did beat him at some point. I mean, Kirito gets beat. Yeah, but he's just a bitch. <laughs> so your argument doesn't is what that he's not the and even so he's Wait, he's talk? not beaten like out of like skill level. He's beaten because of like a weird superpower. He's he's still beaten. He's not beaten. He's still in the same he way. still lose. He no, can't it's fight. it's not. No, if I my argument is no. that people have to cheat to beat him at game shit because I'm referencing the tennis thing. Uh, the fucking racquetball thing, um, where he had the highest score and, and his girlfriend no. had to fucking cheat to beat him. Oh, yeah. right. She, no, she, she had to, she, she she had to accelerate. She had okay. to accelerate. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'll give you that. I'll give you um, that. That's right. She had to accelerate to get his attention. So, so like... But technically, he did Technically, he did lose. Technically, in the in the, in the parameters of that world. But not that was because he tool. wasn't faster than the other person. Not because he wasn't better than the other person. But because the other person had a, a, a just a stronger ability than him. For a second, he still. This is the fact he still lost. It it does because I'm saying he's the best, and you're saying, "Well, he lost." I'm like, "Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's not the best." You saying he lost to my saying he's the best at the in game shit. Is, also, technically, is is, technically is saying as as, that I he's not the best of the game. Technically, as is. far as we know, he's not because he, he is. also he's the fastest. Because he also yeah, he also fastest. lost to the Red King as well. Um, again, not because he's not the fastest or best in the game. Also, um, he, no, that he, no, a, a the Kings are obviously game. considered the best of the game. Uh, still where the story eh, is. Still where the eh, story is. Yes, yeah, still eh, where the story is. Really? Yes. What does the Black Queen say about that? What does the Black King say about him that he's the best? Yeah, well, that could be just some lovey dovey. Nah, thing. dude. Nah. Uh uh-uh. uh. We see the Red King beat him. Like, obviously. obviously yeah, you're right. We see the Red King ambush beat him. Not in a fair it fight. Wasn't not an, like, it wasn't an ambush. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. When you don't know your opponent's strength, skills, abilities, or equipment, but your opponent does, and they literally infiltrate your home to pull out a fucking ambush while you're in the bath, that's an ambush. That's a fucking ambush. He caught her before he did that, and then he No, he called the... her out before she did it, and, and then he, he she immediately the went and did it. No, she died without a, 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 an agreement. Oh, no, okay. That no, was, okay, uh-uh. okay, all right, Nuh-uh, all right, bitch. all right, 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 yeah, I'll give you that one, yeah, I'll give you that one. He is at no point ever beaten in a fair fight. He is always beaten within the context that other people have more information than he does, and other people know they have a power that can, like, bluff him, that can out-bluff him or whatever. The only time he's ever legitimately beaten is probably by his friend, and then he wins that fight. Actually. He does win that fight. Who? Main character boy. Main character wins the fight? Yeah. He wins the fight against his friend. Oh, like, yeah. Because he discovers he has wings and that makes him OP for that fight, that battle. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, yeah. Well, also, like, the Nomi one still counts as a loss. Like, yeah. It counts as a loss. It does not count against him being the best ki- player in the game. It doesn't. My statement was, he's the fastest he is the best at yeah, the but you said game. Yeah, you're saying the only. And then legit- you said, "Yeah, but now we beat him." Sure, that doesn't mean he's not the best. Yeah, because but- you know what? He beats the fuck out of Nomi. So, with the Black Knight's help too. In a fair fight against and, Nomi, and do you think he would have won? If you say no, I'm gonna slap you because you dumb. 
That that depends. On no, it's depends, not depend on depends shit. On that final fight, you take out things, everyone other than him and, and, and Nomi. Who wins? That depends on a lot. No, of it does not I, depend on anything. If it was just a him and him, I one v one fair fight. They both know the shit. That it's the same, the same circumstances without any other characters. They probably you and I both know he wins. They, no, prob- they probably could have created some way for him to win. No, I no, he wins he straight up. Win. He outskills Nomi by a shit ton. Mm. Nomi is not even skilled, bro. Yeah, and then he beats him the first time, and then with the duel, they also beat him the second time. Although, that doesn't really count. The duel, the he pop. doesn't actually beat him. That's straight up a loss and then a cheat. Which one? Where it's him and his mate against uh, against Nomi. They win that fight. They don't get the victory. They win that fight, though. They've beat Nomi, and then Nomi pulls out insta-heals because bullshit. Actually, no. None of them won. That was a draw. Because it timed out. I think that was the one that timed out. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Um, but even then, like, they... Come on, dude. You have to bring up a time where Naomi outskilled main character. It never happens. Ever. At any point. I mean, he's still lost to Naomi. Yeah, he might not... Losing does not mean he's not the best. Again, you're fighting my statement where he's saying he lost once. That's not... Has I mean, to do okay, with I mean, okay. It. Has nothing to do with it. Okay, fine. Is okay, he fine. Or that, is not the okay, best? Okay, fine. He's literally okay, the best. Fine. And that fight, of that fight, he loses, but no, he not loses. that fight. Stop! Not stop! Fight. Let me, let stop me, let me, let me. Hold on! Stop! Stop! Fuck! I'm telling you to stop because I'm tired of that. Stop! I was fucking going to say way more. I wasn't going to just fucking right, repeat go. that. Okay, fine. Yes, he loses that one, but that doesn't mean that he's not that 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 man. What is his name? What is his fucking name? I don't know. What's just say main character boy. Um, main character boy. I'm gonna call him Piggy for now on. Fine, but main character boy still has the skill. But if if everything were to lead, uh, if everything were to still happen and was it were to be a one on one, you're full of he shit. Still, no, he you're would full still of win. Shit. No, Nomi would not have won. You're full of shit. Uh, Nomi probably. If, if it was no one on one, Nomi. Piggy would wins. Ten times out of ten. Not even nine times out of ten. Ten times out of ten. I don't know about that. Nah, I don't dude. Know about that. Yeah, you don't know about that because you you not engaged. No, I don't know about that. I don't know about that because there's a lot of factors. Because there's a lot of factors. There are no factors. There are no externalized factors. What factors are there? The fact that Nomi has all those uh, that still has his wings. The fact that yeah, um, that that those wings are beat. We literally see him beat the fuck out of him with those wings. Yes. No. Fuck off. You're just wrong. You are actually just objectively wrong. Not subjectively, you are objectively. We can actually watch you be wrong. If we turn Excel World on right now, we can actually watch you be wrong. Imagine in being, real time. Imagine being this much of an asshole in an argument. <laughs> I, I'm not even fucking going out for shit, but you, you here waving your hands and shit. And I, you know what? There is a way that they could they could write it where main character boy wins all the time, with even without the skill thing. Because there what is, does that have to do with anything? You know what? Fuck you then. No, where does that statement come from? Yeah, of course they could find a way of writing anything. Well, no, because I was just like, well, like no, like not like a, a, a ass hat pull where like you know they make up some random shit where it's like oh we do see like even even uh, yeah I know yeah I don't disagree with you they could but what does that have to do with anything what does that have to do with my statement that he is the best at the in game shit because that's what you're still fighting for some reason right now I still won't say that I'm still gonna go with the Black Kings literally the point of the of the entire show is that he is the best of the engagement. He is the most full dive a full dive can be. If we... That's, if we, if, that's, we were to if you look at the entire meta narrative, the entire series, it culminates to Piggy Boys being set up as the chosen one if we of were, full dive. If we were to continue, there would probably be a point where one of the kings would, would beat him. No. Him. It, and it doesn't Honestly. matter if the one of the kings would beat him because he would still come out and win. He's going to be the first one to break level 10. Or if he's not the first one to break level 10, he's going to be the one that promotes someone to level 10. He is the the guy that's going to end up meeting Kirido. He's going to be the guy that 
grows the wings and go flies higher than anyone's ever flown. He's literally the chosen one. Narratively, meta narratively, super narratively, however narrative you want to look at it, he is the guy. I don't give a shit if he's going to get beat by someone at some point. That doesn't change the fact that he is the best at the end game. It doesn't. Him getting beat by a dude somewhere at some point does not mean that he won't be the best. You know how we know this? Because by the time he's a level 9 as well, he's not going to get beat. He's not going to lose, have the game uninstalled, and lose his memories. He's going to oh, be the one Yeah, he's not going to lose his points and get his game uninstalled, obviously. Well, it, except you say that, except for you just made the argument that he's going to get beat by a king. You can get beat. You can get beat. And, oh, wait. No, the you, king's... If wait. you get beat by a king I forgot as a level role. 9, I forgot you that are I forgot that rule. I forgot that rule. This is how I we know that for certain role. that the finale will end with him being the chosen one to meet King. Also, you can no. Also, you can get beat as a king at lower level. It's once you're level nine, right? When, when you right, lose. but that's so the thing. Enough. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay, In a fair fair. fight where everyone has all the knowledge, one on one, he's never going to lose ever. Period. In an ambush, fine. By a king when he's level four. Fine. These aren't actual arguments. You're right. Red King does beat him by ambushing him, by having equipment he knows nothing about, by being someone he knows nothing about, and by out-leveling him by more than double his level. You're right. He gets beat. That doesn't mean he's not the best. It means he's not the one with 100% victories. You're still not fighting my, my statement. You're fighting next to my statement. No. <laughs> Listen, the meta narrative uh, agrees with me, so. I think it's time we introduce the meta narrative. We didn't even talk about the fucking everything else. I don't even care about everything else. <laughs> we didn't even talk about everything else. Um, he, he faces a lot of trials, some personal shit. Um, he's got two friends, he's got a girlfriend and a bunch of enemies. Uh, there we go. There's. There's the anime. Wow. <laughs> wow. Man. <laughs> Man. Uh, it's a shonen. Uh, he's the main character. Would this um, count as And a, he's not... This wouldn't count... No, this wouldn't count as a mecha. I, that was a, no, no, this would not count as no, a mecha. It count, okay. It's an in-game avatar. It's not a mecha. Okay. It would count as a mecha if everyone was the Red King. <laughs> if everyone was the screw guy in the Red King, sure, it's a mecha. Okay. But not... I know, I know, yeah, else I know. Is. I know, I was just... I, I was just thinking. But, yeah, you're right. Now, you know what it is, though. It's an isekai. Moving on. <laughs> I mean, it's... Moving on. It's an isekai. Moving on. It's the progenitor Moving on. to all isekai. Moving on. Moving on. You know, really, Moving on. we should talk about the Moving real on. world Moving implications. Moving on. 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 I don't care. We're going to have to talk about it. I... Sora Online is the isekai that spawned all isekai. Yes, I don't disagree with you with that. So we're going to have to talk cool, about it. Cool, we agree on that. Moving the fuck on. I mean, do we also agree with the other implications of that? I remember us having an hour and 45 minute conversation, which the only time you actually engaged with the conversation was when we talked about this. Point. Yeah, because I had a fucking major headache. It was the only thing I could really engage on. So, but, like, again, you're just... Uh, and it, I think it's important that we bring it up. No, really, no. Really? No. That Sword Art Online is, like, one of the most important anime to ever exist? Whatever. That it changed the industry in, like, a dozen ways? I don't know about a dozen ways, but sh whatever. That it affected both the aesthetic, um, the narratives... Uh, and the popularity of an entire new, uh, burgeoning genre. They did a lot of things. Cool. <laughs> I mean, this is the place where we're supposed to talk about those things. Look, man. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Listen, we have to. Sword Art Online is an anime produced by A1 Pictures. <laughs> A1 Pictures... Has gone on to be 
one of, if not the most influential anime of this decade. Um, they've influenced everything from uh, the aesthetics to anime during the 2010s and probably beyond. Um, to also influencing other creators, the popularization of multiple works in particular, as well as an entire burgeoning genre, one that had already existed, even had already been popular, but had never been as popular. Um, Isekai, Caught in Another World. Not only that, but it also brought forth a kind of wave, a movement, um, that was already kind of blossoming, but that flowered under the prosperity of A1 Pictures, of um, light novel adaptations. Um, all of a sudden, with SEO's success, we saw light novels of all sorts everywhere, many of which were also isekai, um, exploding in popularity.